Today we're going to look at a passage in Matthew chapter 7. Matthew chapter 7 is part of Jesus' famous Sermon on the Mount. And we're going to be looking at verses 21 through 23 of this chapter. Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven. But he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, did we not prophesy in your name, and in your name cast out demons, and in your name perform many miracles? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Jesus came to this earth in order to provide the way of salvation, in order to provide the sacrifice of his life on the cross to make forgiveness of sins available so that we can be part of his kingdom and we can be in the end with him for eternity in heaven. He's made that available to all of us. But Jesus explains here in this passage that there are there's a certain group of people who are going to be able to take advantage of that. Those who do the will of my Father, those who do the will of God, those are the ones who will take advantage of this. So it's more than just people who recognize who Jesus is. It's more than just people who believe in God. This is also also those who are doing the will of God, following what he has instructed us to do. But then Jesus goes on and talks about those who, at the final judgment, are saying, well, Lord, look at all of these things that we've done in your name. Lord, look at this and look at that. And Jesus is going to explain to them that I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. The problem with, that he describes of these individuals who are going to be told to depart is not that they didn't believe in God. It's not that they didn't recognize who Jesus was. And it's not that they weren't trying to, to or, or they weren't doing anything of a religious nature. They were doing things that they believed were honoring Him. They, they believed were in His name. But Jesus explains here in this passage, just because someone is doing things that they say is in His name does not mean it's something that He is wanting them to do. Jesus says, you call me Lord. Well, if we call Him Lord, we need to recognize what that means. If He is Lord, then He is our Master. He is the one who has authority over us. We recognize that. And so if we recognize that, we need to be doing what He has instructed us to do in His Word. Not assume that, well, if I do this, He's going to be honored by that. If I do this, then He's going to be pleased. We need to take a step back and say, well, it's not about what I think is going to please Him. It's not about just doing what I've always assumed is right. We need to be doing what He has instructed us to do. Because Jesus said, well, there are going to be many who say, well, Lord, we've done this, we've done that, but they're guilty of lawlessness. It means that they were not doing things for which they had authority. There was no law, no law from God that instructed them or authorized them to do whatever it is that was under consideration there. We don't want to just make assumptions about what will please Him and what He wants us to do. We need to know what His will is. Well, how can we know that? We have to go to what He has revealed in the Scriptures. We have to go to the Word of God. So rather than just assuming that anything that we do, even with good motives, anything that we do is going to honor Him, if we recognize that He is Lord, we need to go to His Word, see what His Word says, and follow what He has instructed us there. Because we don't want to find out at the end that we haven't done what His will is. He warns us here so we can make sure that we are following His will. We are doing what He said. So the way of salvation is open. Heaven is available to all of us. And those who do the will of God will be able to enter into that kingdom of heaven. Are we doing the will of God? That's not a subjective question. It's a question for us to go to the Word of God and see what He has said. And so let's go to the Scriptures, go to what the Bible teaches, see what He wants us to do, and then go about doing what He has commanded us there.